Hey everyone, Jim T. Graham from rcgroups.com. I was working on my new Sky Zone goggles and I ran into a little snafu. I went on the internet and I found fragments of solutions, but not a total. I didn't find a thread or a video that showed me exactly what to do. So I figured it out and I thought I would make a little article about it. Basically, when you get these goggles and probably a lot of other goggles, they send tracking cables that go out to different radios. Primarily, it seems to be JR and Futaba. I have a Spectrum radio, so that's a problem. Here's how you can tell you have the wrong cable. This is the cable it came with, which is a stereo cable. And you can tell that by the two black bands. The Spectrum is a mono cable. A mono cable has one black band. That just determines how many inputs are going into the plug. So, I got on the internet, I started looking around, and you can find these cables, and they're not expensive, but most of them, in fact all of them, were out of stock. So I thought, well, I certainly have a mono cable laying around, and I did, this guy right here. And mono cables are almost useless for me, so I went ahead and cut it. Now, when you cut your mono cable, here's what you're going to see. You're going to have this is wrapped around the external interior piece here. So this piece over here I just wound up, and that is your ground, black. Make sure you have all the strands wound up. And then in the center, protected by this plastic sheath, is your positive. So what you want to do is just take your uh, wire snips and pull this off so this is exposed. And then I went in and I tinned this and I tinned this with solder. And so that was ready. And then with the tracking cable, I just snipped it, which is where this came from. So you'll see with the original cable, it has three wires. And the question you're going to want to ask is, what about this third wire, Jim? What about this white wire? Don't worry about it. Just leave it just like that. The wires you care about now are red and black, which makes it very simple. So I snipped those off right here, and uh, I took the existing red and black coming off of this that were tinned, and then I took this negative black, center positive red, and I uh, soldered them together, and then I put some shrink wrap around each piece so that they would never touch each other, and then I put a big piece on the outside, which leaves you now with a head tracking cable coming out of your goggles into a mono. And so, the question is, did that work? Plug it into the back. And then what you want to do to uh, set up your training, I may have to edit this in here, but uh, you're going to want to click this, scroll down, this is DX18 of course, scroll down to System Setup, I'm going to turn this to yes. I'm going to scroll down to trainer. And when you get here, it's probably going to be turned off. Let's see. In, inhibit. You want to take away your inhibitions and go to programmable master. These will probably all be set right, which is two masters. And then you want to go to the next row and change all those to slaves. Your primary inputs are going to be coming in through the GER and the AX1, which is channel 5 and channel 6. And then I went ahead and put it on switch A, which is right here, so I can turn that bad boy on and off. And then master override I have on active. I have to play with that once I actually get a pan and tilt unit. So uh, now we want to go back. The question is, did it work? So what I'm going to do click my roller once, go to monitor, and so this monitors your input. There you see the throttle going up and down, and aileron, elevator. Okay, so here's uh, GER and AX1, auxiliary one, which is five and six. So the theory is, is that when I move the goggles back and forth, we should see these in our monitor. So five and six, all right, left, there they are, they're moving. You see it? That means we're good and we were successful in this amazingly simple two-wire job out of that. So no cable purchase necessary. If you needed this mono cable and you didn't have one, you could go to uh, Radio Shack. They have multiple versions. You can buy just a straight cable and cut, which I think is what I would do. But they also have others that you uh, they're made for soldering onto things. So that's it. If you want to get head tracking out into a pan and tilt unit. This is the way to do it. Now all I have to do is buy a 
pan and tilt. <laughs> it didn't totally utilize this, but it's a pretty cool feature. All right, thanks for watching.